you so. <laughs> it's been so long, right? Let me stop being dramatic. It's been a few days since I have come on and um, done my usual thing with you all. I truly did miss you though. Um, I was feeling a little under the weather, you know, it was that woman time and um, just schedule being a little crazy lately, but I'm here. I didn't forget about you. And you know, I've been watching a lot of my shows out here, that good Insecure, Issa Rae and the team, I'm with you. Um, that Power, I'm with you. Uh, my husband and I watched Snowfall, we hanging in there with you. Just saw the season finale of Claws, it was bomb, I'm with you. So TV is like great right now, and to be honest, there are nights where I'm like, I'm fitting to watch this show tonight, blogging, I'm not sure. But don't worry, I'm back. <laughs> um, it's funny, I just got finished watching Growing Up Hip Hop, and I was like, wow. Especially the story regarding the Simmons sisters, Rev Run's daughters, Angela, Vanessa Simmons, and their other sister from their mom's side. You know, um, it was unfortunate to see that their relationships are kind of where they are, right? Um, and it's a reminder that even though people got money out here, they still got problems like you and I, y'all. <laughs> you know, um, so I'm hoping that the ladies, the sisters, the girls are able to get their sisterhood back into where it should be. Um, so I've been kind of following them growing up hip hop. Um, I see y'all. Um, I love when people get real and raw. I understand reality TV and how to some degree we have to be out here doing the most at times to get the ratings, to, you know, secure our spot on the show, um, to have these fake storylines. But I love when they forget when the cameras are there and they just get real, you know, like people please show that your real life being transparent is what's going to get the masses to fall in love with you. This is something that I think Cardi B has mastered, right? Cardi B, as ratchet as a lot of people may consider her to be, as ignorant in some senses, whatever people want to say, Cardi B is herself. It's very clear she's herself. And that's why the world has fallen in love with her. This is why she's winning, so to speak, continuing, um, to get bigger and bigger platforms. Whether you like her music or you don't, whether you think she's a, a dope MC or not, the girl is going up, moving up the, the charts and is has the attention of all the other celebrities out there who are co-signing her work, right? So I say all that to say it just pays to be who the hell you are because that's what's going to garner um, the world, the masses, buying into your brand, wanting to know what's good with your life, wanting to follow you. That's, you know, kind of what it is, you know, I, and I can respect the fact that authenticity is everything. I find myself wanting to follow or know more about um, people in the industry who are authentic and true to themselves. You know, if I could tell that you're out here fronting for the cameras, I'm not that interested, right? I'm not buying into your brand. I'm not trying to, to purchase what you're selling, right? But if you're actually out here staying true to the game, I'm with it. Um, and that's something that I definitely try to do and I hope that you feel that and sense that for those who have been rocking with me for the past year and change. I'm pretty much being real to myself, whether I'm annoying you because I'm singing and doing my little intros into my favorite music, I'm, you know, I'm doing me, I'm being who I am, you know, so I'm hoping that that is very clear in all of my vlogs and my audio recordings and my blogs and my advertisements for the website and my social media for the website. I'm hoping that you see this is who Chanel of complex simplicity really is. Um, so what is it that I wanted to talk about, right? This may be another random thoughts night. Um, I have this new venture that I kind of want to do, kind of along the lines of social experimentation, like a social experiment. And it's geared to my single men and women of their 30s. Um, 
because I, I know too many, I have too many bomb people, dope people in my life who are still single. And I am the kind of friend, the kind of sister, the kind of cousin where I want everyone to win around me. I want to help as much as I can help, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, right? And um, I was talking to one of my my friends, my girlfriends the other night, and I'm like, yo, you need to be a part of this social experiment that I wanna do. It's geared towards single men and women in their 30s. Um, and I may ask you to be a part of certain dating scenes that may be out of your norm, but if you're down, if you trust me enough, I think this is something that could be great for, for both of us. And I wanna include another girlfriend, she doesn't even know yet, but I'm about to, put it out there to her hopefully she's she rocks with it and, and is down for it um and i'm definitely hoping that they can find a connection and even if they can't find a connection with someone who can be a significant other i'm hoping that maybe they will gain clarity as to if they're in some way contributing to their singlehood if you understand what i'm saying um so look out for that. It's something that I kind of want to do. Hit me up under this vlog and let me know if you think this would be an interesting venture. You know, I want to start taking complex simplicity, the brand to the streets, meaning we're doing footwork. We're out here. It's not just my perspective, how I think. It's also me doing experiments, me um, getting in the streets and talking to other people, men, women, um, of all ethnicities and creeds, right? To kind of see what we think, how we think, um, to learn certain things, to, to get statistics, to, you know, like I, I'm so into that. Maybe it's the psychology side of me, right? Um, so I want to know, do you think that that would be something dope that you would look forward to and seeing on the website, another component, um, regarding social experimentation, that can help us all out here on a myriad of different um, topics, right? Um, another random thought, I my husband has gotten me into running, y'all. He's kind of been running for a couple of years now and that was never really my zhuzh when it came to workouts. I was more of a girl that would do classes, cycling classes, cardio classes, ab classes, things of that nature. And I felt like I was, my, with my fitness goals, I was kind of hitting a standstill um, and wanted to shock my body in a different way. So my husband is like, yo, you might as well get down with this app that I have um, where it's like a running app and I'll, I don't remember it right now. So what I'll do is um, I will put all the links for the information regarding the app in the description box um, where I normally write, hey y'all, check out this vlog where I'm saying this, I'll put the information there. Um, but I've been doing it since July 28th. Today is what? August 17th. So this is probably my third week, even though on the app it says I'm week two, day three. But anyway, um, I've been, you know, doing it, trying to incorporate it every week for the past few weeks. And I've started to see some changes in my body. As much cycling as I do, um, running still works different muscle groups, right? So it's still a challenge in some ways, which is a good thing. Hopefully it'll push my body into a different kind of shock and get my fitness goals a jump to where I would want them to be. Um, so that's something to try out. I've been in my on my personal social media more so I've been, you know, writing about it and just saying like, listen, for those of you who do have fitness goals that you would like to achieve, for those of you who are like, you know what, this is the time I wanna start working out, but I don't have the money, I don't have the funds. This app is free, y'all. All you gotta do is download it. And it's great because what it does is it starts you off with a five minute warm up, and then it has it where you'll run for a minute, you'll walk for a minute and 30 right? It, it's building you up to be able to run 10 miles. Um, so I'm at the point in the stage where I run for a minute and 30 and I walk for a minute and 30, but I'm about to head into a different phase probably where I run for two minutes and walk for a minute 30 or whatever. But whatever, however it's designed, the purpose is to get you ready to push forward into um, 
running a ten, running 10 miles like that's real ish running 10 miles is no joke so um, I'm kind of up for the challenge and I'm, I'm so proud of myself that I've, I've been diligent with it so I still cycle um, I've been cycling twice a week and running once a week this week I flipped it where I ran twice a week and now only cycle once this week so I'm trying to do different things to shock my body I want to get back into lifting weights but more so like doing my arm exercises stuff for my back like i'm really trying to get this thing going y'all before i stretch my body out and have a baby i feel like it's best to be in as good of shape as i can be to be strong enough to carry a baby as well as to deliver a baby um and then once i have that said baby then it'll be time to like go back and go hard to get this body snapped back right so there are reasons why for those who are like, yo, she's been married for almost three years. Why is she not working on a baby? There are reasons. One, I wanted to um, create a strong foundation with my marriage, enjoy the time with my husband. Two, my husband works a very demanding job. He needs to be around for the whole journey of baby and after the baby's here. Three, I still got body goals. I'm trying to get my weight down. I'm trying to get to a healthier place. And I feel like it's wise for me to do that before I decide to get pregnant which could also help me to get pregnant, right? Um, and D, mentally and emotionally, you gotta be in a place where you, you're you ready. And people say, you'll never be ready, and that may be true, but I know when I definitely am like, no, 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 no time for baby. Now I'm getting to a place where I can say, us trying in 2018, I think I could get with that. So you, you have to just know yourself. I know myself, so I have to stay true to that. Um, but anyway, for those who do want to start fitness journeys, but you feel financially you just can't keep up a gym membership or go to boxing classes or whatever the case may have you, there are several fitness apps you can try. Running, you could run around your community. That's how I do it. I run in my complex. I run in a complex across the street. Like, that's, it's cool. And then, you know, I have my days where I'm at the gym. So there are no excuses. If I can do it, y'all, you can do it. And I'm not saying, you know, everybody needs to be thin and skinny. I'm just trying to get to a stronger place within myself, my body. And, um, and so, and yes, if I'm being honest, I do want to lean out a bit too. There are areas that need to lean out and they are. This dress, y'all, I wore it probably it's my third summer wearing it for some reason I tried it on this summer it was snug and I was in crisis like am I gaining weight what's going on is it I wash this and it shrunk I don't know but let me tell you after running for about three weeks <laughs> put this dress on today for work and it fit better right so there's something to this running it does lean you out weight does fall off I think it's shocking my body the way that I need it to um, so just putting it out there um, let's do this fitness thing together, y'all. We can do this thing together. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I would like to talk about? Yes! Subject of dating. So I told you about the social experiment that I want to do at some point in the fall. Um, I just want to put it out to you single men and women out there. Because I feel like my girlfriends never take my advice. And I said to one of my friends the other night, Y'all don't never want to take my advice. Y'all acting as if, like, I'm not out here doing it. Like, I don't want to sound conceited or anything, but let's keep it real. I got into a rela 